it just gives you an upbeat feeling. Being able to be within laboratories that are state of the art is a great pleasure. It's changed almost everything. It's actually easier to speak about what has not changed. We have the good fortune of being a top tier dental school, but our facilities, which were truly state of the art when they were built in the late 60s, early 70s, had been aging. The clinics really didn't accommodate the teaching of modern dentistry. The research laboratories also were designed in the 60s and research has just changed so much since that time. Also, 95% plus of our patients parked in our parking structure, entering what was the rear of the building. Beyond that, it was always confusing for patients to find their way through the building. We really wanted to have a facility that matched the caliber of our community. There's been many changes over the course of the project. The patient experience has been primarily affected. We literally flipped the orientation of the building internally. As patients walk in, there are people to greet them and free doctoral clinics right there where they enter the building. Our clinical spaces are larger, they're more adaptable, they interact more seamlessly with new technology in dentistry. We had a patient the other day who said, I can't believe how much brighter it is, how much more space we have. It's changed the experience for patients, which as a provider, as an assistant, that just makes your whole day. Signage was a big element of this project. Before the renovations, patients might have found it a little bit more challenging. Finding clinics, having better directions around the school has really helped me and I know it has helped a lot of patients. We've also added a completely new clinic, a clinic for patients with special needs. So there's a lot more that we can offer to new patients and a range of patients. And there's more too that we can offer our existing patients. For the students, we want to ensure that they're getting the state-of-the-art experience here and that they're being educated in the most modern technologies. Students can expect to use and interact with dental technology more and more. Our spaces are also more adaptable as new technology that hasn't been invented yet starts to become available. Our clinics will adapt more rapidly than our old spaces used to be able to. We have multiple informal collaborative spaces and study space throughout the building. The renovated reading room is probably my favorite part of the Blue Renew. It's one of my favorite places to study. If you want a group setting, there's places for group study. If you want to be in a small cubicle, you can be in a small cubicle by yourself. If you want to sit in like a little lounge chair, you can do that. I fall asleep in those, but if you need that, that's a great thing to do there too. We're actually standing in my favorite part of the new renovations. There's like a lot of big windows and then there's like the seminar rooms that they have made for us. And also I really like the new courtyard. They just have made some great new spaces for us to spend time with our friends and study with them. We really wanted to move our research facilities into the modern era. So we have a new courtyard addition that houses two state-of-the-art floors of research laboratories. All the lab spaces are open, so you will be able to see what other people are doing. And they have office space that is right next to it. It's just really nice being able to spend time there. My lab focuses on uh, oral cancer. In the new location, it's so much easier to work. It's a very functional space, and lab members can collaborate and problem solve very easily. People may be working on different aspects of cancer, but communication between them allows them to collaborate across different interests. So that has led to an increase in the depth of the work that we do. My lab focuses on integrating stem cell biology, biomaterials knowledge, and tissue engineering concepts to rebuild tissues within the oral cavity and throughout the body. And the ability now to bring the silos to coexist in the same space with similar interests in the area of tissue regeneration, as well as to be in a lab that has the dedicated spaces, for example, for 3D printing and bioprinting. I think will give us tremendous opportunity to continue to expand our areas of research for years to come. I think our renovation brings us into the 21st century. 
our students, our staff and our faculty have made this school one of the leading schools in the country and perhaps the world. With brand new facilities, I'm just excited about what the future holds. These renovations will allow us to continue to be leaders and best in our profession.